Hi people, welcome back to the tutorial on how to hack Metasploitable 2. I hope that you're enjoying the tutorial so far. Today I have another great tutorial lined up for your pleasure. We're going to look at port 2121. Different version of FTP appears to be the service running on it called ProFTPD. I don't think there is any need for any heads up as to what FTP means. I can only refer you to an earlier tutorial on port 21. As always, our methodology remains the same here as we're going to use the Metasploit framework to take advantage of this service. In case you wonder what is Metasploit, it is a framework of exploits. First, let's confirm that version of FTP. As you can see here, um, the Nmap scan of the Metasploitable machine shows us that um, ProFTP is the available service, which is indeed running on port 2121. Um, let's open a new tab here and type in MSF console, and that should bring uh, an MSF, uh, a Metasploit shell. Um, I, I'd assume that you've already uh, you started your PostgreSQL service, and you can see mine is showing as active. So um, go back to the Metasploit shell and uh, carry out the first search, um, which is searching for ProFTP to see whether we've got an exploit. <laughs> it's a bit overwhelming. Um, We've got a next amount of module match, matching our search, but um, there's nothing particularly striking. So what we're going to do is to explore wise to get hold of credentials to see if we can brute force our way into the FTP server. So if you recall the tutorial on port 21, uh, we're going to be where the FTP logging auxiliary should help us do that. So why don't we use it? And uh, let's find out what the options are. Right, so we'll need to configure the appropriate options for the module. And uh, we leave the brute forces high. Uh, it's not ideal because it does alert intrusion detection system, but uh, the attack will be faster. So we're probably going to need to change our remote port here to. Well, let's set the host first. And uh, then let's do the ports. Okay, and we also need to configure two files for our brute force attack. In order to speed up the credential cracking exercise, I created a short username list for the user file option, and um, and the same and the same thing for um, the password the, the pass file option as well. So um, let's just show you where that is on my desktop here. And you can see those two files here, and they've been created for this tutorial only. So, um, so let's configure it here. So, and we do the same thing for right. So now let's toggle the user as pass option to true. Right, so with everything set, um, we can just unleash the exploit by typing run. Okay, so it looks like we've got some blue lights of good news marked by the plus sign on the left hand side there. So we've got two valid user accounts. So one is um, MSF admin and uh, the other one is Postgres. And they all came back with a password being the same as the username. So um, let's try to put a new information to use by logging to the FTP server with uh, one of the credentials that we've uh, uh, we found. Um, we might have to open another tab here and uh, I'm typing FTP. Right, so we can naturally use one of the user accounts that we've uh, identified in a previous, um, um, in, in a password cracking exercise a minute ago. So by, we can use the Postgres one. And uh, the matching passwords.
Right, so we are connected and we can traverse the directories using the long list commands. Good, it's not too bad. Um, we managed to, um, um, to, to get into the remote machine. I mean, the alternative would probably be much better. And um, if we quit this and use SSH instead, um, control R. So, um, the, in this particular case, we're using the other user account, I MSF admin. And uh, there you are. So, we managed to get into the Metasportable machine, uh, be on a, with the MSF account um, level privilege. And um, I mean, it's quite easy to uh, elevate your privilege. Yeah? All you have to do is, is to use the command sudo su. It is. And there you are. So we, we are root. We can find out exactly whether that's the case. Yes, the, high, the highest level of privilege. And um, we can confirm what the interface of the remote machine is. And uh, indeed, is the Metasprotable machine. Um, this brings the tutorial to an end. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode. Any question, then please stick in a comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.